I just want to say it was a great atmosphere for college basketball, being in an environment like this, playing a great team, and both teams playing at a high level, playing at like playoff level tonight. Big plays being made on both sides of the court. I'm really proud of our guys for coming out of here with a victory, but Ride is one heck of a team. It was a great, great game tonight. Okay. Question for the guys? For any of you guys, um, when you didn't make the – Scotty and Mike, when you didn't make, make that last basket in regulation <clears throat> that went into overtime, did you kind of sense that maybe – the tide would turn for them in overtime? No, um, I felt that, um, I mean, we missed the shots. I mean, they made a key play at the end. Justin Robinson faked the handoff past the Ringo to mm -hmm. go into OT. And um, we just tried to push the ball down. Um, I feel like I could have took one more dribble to get to the basket, and I just kind of threw up a shot to get it on the backboard. Mm -hmm. And then Mike grabbed the rebound, and he just missed it. But um, going into the overtime, we felt like, I mean, we had to play. Mm -hmm. And um, this is what we do all the time. We just work hard. So we felt that we had to come to play. And it was it was a playoff atmosphere, like Coach said. Was this kind of a coming out party for Armand tonight? I mean, how about him tonight? I mean, well, he he always knocked down big big shots in practice. You know, um, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited for him that he uh, – I'm actually hearing that we had 37 bench points, which was, uh, I think that was the key to the to, toward the end of the game. And um, we try to we try to limit it, uh, Justin Robinson's touches toward, toward the end down the stretch. And I think we did a very good job there. Talk about your your matchup with Ringo tonight. That was kind of worth the price of admission there. Um, well, he's a he's a he, he's a tough player to to defend. Um, down the stretch, uh, I was uh, pretty tired toward, towards the end, but. Um, <laughs> I gave coach that look, and the coach just said, "Just, just keep battling, you know." So, exactly what I did, and we got the win. And, but we can't be satisfied. We have another big one on on, on Sunday, so back at it tomorrow in practice. Did you guys hear it all toward the end of the when you guys were in a timeout? They announced that Fairfield lost, so the winner of this game would move into. A I wasn't even paying attention to it, honestly. Like my my mom was focused on the game. I wasn't worried about the announcers. Okay. Mike, what's it like to be in a in a game like that where it's just momentum shift after momentum shift? It just seemed like it was big shot after big shot tonight. Well, I mean, I think Coach put us all in a position to do that, so um, we pretty much wasn't shocked. We just, you know, like when the time comes, we had we had to finish up the job. Jamel, do you think at halftime they were they talked about you a lot and trying to keep you out of out of their early offense the second half? Cause in the first half I had shot well, so yeah. the coach probably told him to keep more on me. But in doing that, I think it opened shots for other players, and Sean is is another shooter, mm -hmm. so. They keyed on me, then he was open, and luckily he had a big time game today. Mm -hmm. Hang out with the guys. You guys are good? We're good. Thanks, Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Good enough to play the game. That's why I love to coach the game. Mm -hmm. Games like this. So you're up, what, 17 the first half? But you, yeah, you know, in the offenses of both teams, you knew that wasn't Yeah, the way they shoot the ball and all that, they didn't make some early on, and we came out hot, and, you know, we cooled off and they got hot. Mm -hmm. and they have so many guys that can stretch the floor and then ring gold inside. I mean, they're a great, great team. Mm -hmm. Pretty much the game you kind of expected down to the wire, maybe not overtime. Yeah, you know what? We were talking about if both teams were playing well, that it would be a high-powered offense. And I said if both teams stunk, it would be 50-48. to 48. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm glad it wasn't 50-48 to 48 because both teams like to push the ball and like to play an offensive-minded game, which is, I think, fun to be a part of and fun to watch and mm -hmm. a lot of great plays being made out there tonight. And so what is it like for you on the sideline as they just go big shot for big shot? You just keep scratching your head saying, I don't, can we answer it? <laughs> you know, and they keep making it like, all right, and we come back and we'd answer like, all right, guys, we answered it. Now let's get a stop. Nope, all right, let's answer it. And it just went back and forth like that. And finally we got a little bit of a break late in the, late in the overtime and late in the game to put us into that situation. Can you describe your feeling when Ra's on the line? You know, maybe he can ice the game there and get well, you know what? I really was happy that he was on the line earlier in the year. He missed two foul shots late, and we ended up losing the game at the buzzer because of those two foul shots. And I think his his leadership has changed so much over the last three weeks that I really wanted him to succeed. I'm saying, if you make these two right now, you've put this team on your back again as a senior. You've really turned your whole year around, and, and you're becoming the leader that we need on this team. So I was really, really happy for him to have that opportunity. Are you going to exhale when that second one went through? I'm going to exhale when I get back to the locker room. <laughs> Can you talk a little bit about Sean, though? Sean, uh, offensively, he gave us that lift. You know, he finally 
I think was putting it together where he, he was comfortable on the court. He wasn't playing like a freshman. He, was, he came out not only just making shots, but he drove the ball. That's when I know Sean's playing well because he's capable of doing that. A lot of the games early on, it was catch and throw it up whether I'm open or not. <coughs> now he had a kind of feel for what the defense was giving him. So if he was open, he shot. If he wasn't, he drove it. And defensively, he's got a lot of work ahead of him, but at least he's putting an effort in. Mm -hmm. you know, so I was really happy for him. Yeah, did you get the feeling that Ryder was going to say, if we're going to get beat, we're going to get beat by him? And they well, I think you got to do that a little bit because yeah. you know, it would be the same thing I would do. I'm going to look and say, well, we've got to take the best players away. And if we're going to get beat tonight, it's got to be somebody else. And if you look at the stats and all that, Sean hasn't done it yet. So if you're going to get beat, get beat by a freshman who's never done it. Right. You know, and Sean just made one key play after another. And he's a freshman that has done it. Right. And now, you know, now as a kid that going forward, we can use him in the mix even more. He's going to play with more confidence now. What's it feel like to own a little piece of first place? Oh, it's too early. I know it's season. early, but to, it's better than that. I'm just proud of getting this win. I, I look at one game at a time, not worried about where we are in the standings. That all works itself up later in the year, and then playoffs, it all starts over again. Okay. How about this being like a playoff game? Is the atmosphere was like that. Yeah, I mean, it was like one big shot after another on both sides. Yeah, uh, Rod is a great opponent. We knew it was going to be a tough game like this, and they had no quit in them. So they weren't backing down, we weren't backing down. It's a big road win. Yeah, yeah, it was. It's never easy in this place. No, nah, never, never. It's always a great environment to play in. Mm -hmm. Okay, Rashawn. Thanks, Thank man. You. Thank okay. You.